Welcome to our channel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. In this video, we will see how to use Codesy's alarm management and configuration. Alarm is main function or tools and automation process. You can define various alarm events of process, and these alarm events help the operator to what happens in process. In alarm management, you can also set priority of alarm, to which alarm come to top of table. Open your codesies and make a project. I am making a standard project. For configuration of alarm first, make a simple project. If you new in codesies, click on the link below so you can understand how to make a simple project in codesies. After making a project, make some logic of your program. I am adding a simple logic of timer. In above program, when I set a bit to stat timer, then timer start. Timer done bit set to true when elapsed time is equal to preset time, pt, t hashtag 20s. For more information of Codesy's timer, go to this link below. In second rung elapsed time, et, is converted to integer value. For more about Codesy's data type, press to link below. In third run, I am division block. If you know more about Codesy's arithmetic block, got to this link below. Our logic program is done now next step to add visualization of your project. Here I am adding a dip switch for starting timer and lamp to show when timer done bit is true. Now go to simulation mode and compile and check your project before adding alarm. I am making some adjustment of so you can see proper as you see when dip switch position is changed from off to on then timer start running after timer reach estimate value i.e. 20 second for timer timer done bit is set to true. Second rung convert time value to integer and third rung count from 1 to 20. Now next step to add alarm configuration in Codesy's project. After checking ladder logic and visualization next to define alarm configuration for project. For this select an application in the device tree select application and then add object alarm configuration. Alarm management is created with classes error, info, and warning, and the alarm storage below the alarm configuration. Alarm class is a properties of an alarm. These includes the priority and whether an archiving should take place. Define parameter for your alarm class. Specify the priority of the alarms in this class. You can define 0 to 255 priority number. The priority describes the priority of the alarm condition. 0 represents the highest priority, 255 the lowest. Archiving are used for record of alarm in alarm storage. To do this you have to create an alarm storage object. Configures how the individual statuses of an alarm are displayed in the alarm visualization element. Set the font color and background color of your alarm class, which will display on alarm table. 
Now add a alarm group in alarm, so you can define when your alarm is trigger in alarm table. After add an alarm group, open alarm group and add parameter, variable, and statement of alarm. I am adding first alarm to. If the timer is not start alarm trigger a message to start your alarm. I am adding second alarm as info class. If the timer done bit is set to true alarm trigger a message to timer done bit set. This alarm trigger when value of timer in between 1 to 6 and show a message to alarm table is the value of timer is low. After all the setting go to online mode and check your program as you see when timer is not running alarm is trigger with message. When you change the dip switch off to on your timer start running. When timer value between 1 to 6 alarm trigger a low timer value alarm. When value is greater than 6 and lower than 16 alarm trigger a message to value is OK. When timer value greater than 17 alarm trigger another message value timer value reached the maximum.
Thank you for watching this. Don't forget to subscribe if you like.